வணக்கம் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் யூசிங் நோடல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்யூட்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் செடிக்யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்த் எடிஷன் ஸோ வி ஆர் ஆஸ் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் திஸ் பி நாட் அண்ட் திஸ் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்யூட் இஸ் கிவன் ஸோ வென் யூ லுக் இன் டு திஸ் வி ஹாவ் திஸ் வோல்டேஜ் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ்டி வோல்ட்ஸ் அவைலபிள் ஹியர் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அ டிபெண்ட் வோல்டேஜ் சோர்ஸ் ஃபைவ் வி நாட் as it is a nodal analysis we have to apply kirchhoff's current law so what is kirchhoff's current law it states that sum of entering currents in a particular node is equal to sum of leaving currents so we have marked the nodes this can be marked as node number 1 and this can be taken as node 2 and in this volt in this v1 voltage is existing we can assume and this is v2 voltage and at this particular node this v not will be existing is it and to this node as this 5 v not is connected this 5 v not will be existing so now we can check the current direction in order to have this nodal analysis so let us assume that this i1 current will be flowing in this path and this i2 current will be leaving and here also this i3 current is leaving node 1 we will apply this kcl so it is sum of the incoming currents so is equal to sum of leaving current so incoming current is i1 leaving currents are i2 and i3 so now we have to apply ohms law for the psi so what is ohms law i is equal to the potential difference right it can be written as the potential difference that is va minus vv divided by the resistance so we can write this as v not minus v1 divided by that resistance is such ohm resistance that is equal to i2 i2 if you look into this here you have the voltage source available so in order to find it out we can write that the potential difference v1 minus v2 will be equal to 60 volt isn't it v2 can be written as v1 minus 60 so now we can write this current which is flowing through this 20 ohm resistance as this v2 minus the zero potential divided by that 20 ohm resistance plus when you go for the psi 3 how to write the psi 3 it starts from the first node and ends at this point right so it is v1 potential minus 5 v0 divided by that resistance is so it is v not minus v1 divided by if i cancel out this this becomes 3 this becomes 10 both sides okay so it is 3 that is equal to v2 by 10 plus v1 minus 5 v not divided by 10 right okay so when cross multiplying we can write this as 10 times v not minus v1 that is equal to 3 times v2 plus 3 times v1 minus 5 v not so it is 10 v not minus 10 v1 that is equal to 3 v2 plus 3 v1 minus 15 v not so we know already that what is v2 so i can substitute this in place of this v2 so that i can write this as 10 v0 minus 10 v1 that is equal to 3 times v1 minus 60 plus 3 v1 minus 15 times v0 is 10 v0 minus 10 v1 that is equal to 3 v1 minus 180 plus 3 v1 minus 15 v not so rearranging them we can write this as 10 v not minus 10 v1 minus 3 v1 minus 3 v1 plus 15 v not that is equal to minus 180 so it is 25 v not minus 16 v1 that is equal to minus 180 
So we, we take this branch alone. Okay. This can be redrawn like this. And yes. this is your V1. And at this point, we have this V0. Okay. So here it is 6 ohm resistance. And this is your 4 ohm resistance. So how do you write this V0? Okay. So the potential across this 4 ohm resistance. How can we find out? So this can be the total potential. So V0 can be calculated as the total potential into resistance of this branch 4 ohm divided by the total resistance of this particular path. So it is 6 plus 4. Okay. So that is equal to 4 V1 divided by 10. So if you cancel out this, this is equal to 2 V1 by 5. So going back to our equation, I can write this as 25 V0. Instead of this V0, I can write it like which we have calculated just now 2 V1 by 5 minus 16 V1 that is equal to minus 180. So it is 5 times. Okay, so we got this as 10 V1 minus 16 V1 that is equal to minus 180. So it is minus 6 V1 is equal to minus 180 or V1 is equal to 180 by 6. These two get cancelled out, right? So it is 30 volts. So once we get this as 30 volts, we know the relationship between V0 and V1. What is V0? V0 is 2 times V1 divided by 5, right? So I can write this as 2 into that V1 is 30 volts divided by 5. So if you cancel this, we will get this as 12 volts. So this is our required answer. Thank you.